Welcome to the next video on truth tables in which we will be looking at somewhat more complicated truth value tables. In the first example, I'm going to show you a different way we can use the truth value tables. In the very first video, when we were talking about the laws of logic, I showed you a few examples where you could prove these laws using truth tables. Now we can extend that and then we can prove many different things with these truth value tables. So, let's say that you are posed with the problem of not P and not Q being logically equivalent to not P or Q. Let's say you were asked to prove this. Now, you can either use the laws of logic and then you can use the De Morgan law here to break up the bracket and then see that the two things are indeed the same or you can be asked to use the truth value tables to show that these two expressions are logically equivalent. For that, what you would need to do, you need to do a truth value table for this expression, you need to do a truth value table for this expression and show that the two are exactly the same. Now, how are we going to construct the truth table for this expression? Well, this part only have got two inputs, P and Q. So I'm going to start with those two inputs. True, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. Then what I have here is not Q. That's one thing I need to calculate. Then I have to calculate P and not Q, because that's in the bracket. And once I've calculated that, there's a final not operation that I need to apply to the whole to be able to calculate what is the overall output of this expression. So not Q, just turn the signs into the opposite and then P and not Q. For P and not Q I'm going to have to use P, I'm going to have to use not Q and I have to combine them together with the AND operation. Remember AND is only true if both of them are true which is this case. There are no other when both of them are true, so the rest of them will give me false. And then what does the not do in front of the whole operation? It just turns false into true and true into false. So this is what the left hand side looks like. What does the right hand side looks like? Well, the right, right hand side looks simpler because I just have got not P or Q. Again, there is only two input combinations, P and Q. So I can start the truth table again the same way. And now, because the inputs are exactly identical for both of the truth tables, whatever I end up with in the last column that have to match in both sides for me to prove that these two are logically equivalent. So breaking down, to be able to calculate the overall output, first I need to find not P and then once I know not P, I can combine together not P or Q. So not P is just the opposite of the input values of P so true becomes false and false becomes true. And then not P or Q, I need to combine together the not P and the Q columns. And using the OR operation, knowing that the OR operation is true if either of them true, then it will give me the following output. Force, force is the only one that's going to give me force. Everywhere else, I have at least one true. And first is true, force, true, true. So the outputs are identical, therefore I use the truth tables to prove that these two Boolean operations are logically equivalent. Let's look at a different example. P and Q if and only if Q or R. What I have here is P, Q and R 
three different input values so all together I'm gonna have eight rows in my truth value table so P Q R half of eight is four put down four two and put down four fours then double three double fours and then three fours three fours alternating all the way until I finish the truth value table right let's break this long expression down into its parts there are two brackets and what I need is the P and Q first and then I'm gonna need the Q or R and at the very end I can use the if and only if to combine these two together so let's get started P and Q and only returns true if both of them are true so both of them are true both of them are true that is different that is different that is different that is different that is false false and that is false false therefore the rest of them is false look at the next step Q or R now I'm gonna use these two columns but now I'm applying the OR to them. What do I know about the OR? The OR is going to return FALSE only if both of the input values are FALSE. So let's try to look for those. Here is one. Both of them are FALSE, so the OR will return a FALSE. And here is another one. So the OR returns FALSE in these two cases. Everywhere else, because at least one of the inputs is true, the OR will return a true value. Next, I need to combine together this and this output with the if and only if. What do I remember about the if and only if? The if and only if is true only if the true input values are exactly the same. Either both of them are true or both of them are false. So I'm gonna have to look at these two columns and I'm gonna have to look at for the values which are the same. True and true is same, so I'm gonna have a true. Same again, I'm gonna have true. They are different, I have a false. Same, because false and false is still the same, I have a true. Different, false output, different, false is the output, different force is the output same true is the output so this is the final output for all of the different combinations for the Q, P and Q and R values I hope you have an idea now how to deal with the truth tables when they are a bit more complicated in the next video I will show you a couple of more examples but for now you can try some practice questions on your own and as always, you will find the answers to these questions at the end of the video. So these are the practice questions. And here are the answers.